Oh boy. Hello everybody, my name is Dude, and welcome to Non-Euclidean Room. This is a prequel to Fragments of Euclid, and I should probably go back and play that game. The music I'm not really digging right now. Activate. Seven of eight. But I only have one. Shouldn't that be one of eight? This isn't like a slender thing, is it? I hope this isn't like slender. This is actually really loud. Hang on. Okay, sorry about that. I I can't handle how loud it was. It was like really bad. Okay, so ooh. Does that mean I'd be on the ceiling? Where would I be going for this one? I'm I'm up above. I'm up above. Okay, I thought I would be elsewhere. I thought I'd be like on the opposite end or something. Maybe this one would be the opposite end. No, nope, I'm right here. Okay. Why well, am I not upside down yet? Or is that even a thing I can do at this moment? Is that a is that a thing I can do in this game? Be upside down? Looks like I can't. Looks like I'm just loading, going into places from one angle and then going into another angle, which is fine. It's just like not what I was expecting. Uh, this one? So far this is pretty easy, but I can't tell how many I have and there's no pause menu. There's also no intro menu. That's a donut. Actually, no, that's a Cheerio. Yeah, that's a Cheerio. I know the difference. I'm an expert. Trust me. Uh, I gotta go there. How do I get there? I guess I gotta go to that side. Ah. Oh. Get in there. Thank you. Okay, so where am I going here? Where? So right here-ish? And then, whoop! Oh, I did something. Whoa, hello. Is that the end of it? That was the end of it. Okay, well, that was interesting. I was expecting to be upside down and on the walls and stuff as well, but, like, I guess that's fine. That was for an old game jam, wow. I want to play it again. That was... Maybe... Meh. That was a little short. That was a little short, not gonna lie. I'm gonna play it one more time. It's for the fun of it. Thankfully, my volume settings were saved. Let's actually get a good look at the place, because I did not look... at absolutely everything. See, there were also a few paths that I didn't take. I think. Hmm. I love games like these, but like, I'm horrible at the ones that have you on the walls and ceilings. This is kind of enjoyable. A little easy. I don't remember being on this plateau. Uh, should it be glitching out like that? Should it be doing the cube thing? It should be doing the cube thing, but I feel like maybe there's an alternative to that. Uh, I, I am wondering though if this is a Cheeto or... Whoa, I can activate... Oh, I was... What? Why was the activation thing all the way over here? I thought I was activating the donut. Or the Cheeto. The... The, the Cheerio. I thought I was activating the Cheerio. In here I'm activating the sugar cube. I mean, it's nice that they made little landmarks around the place. Like the sugar cube and the Cheerio. This is trippy. This is trippy. I love this. This is cool. Oh right, there's a ceiling bit. The jumping sound is weird though. It sounds so negative. The stepping sounds are cool. I can definitely see fragments of Euclid in this. Definitely. In fact, I think it had the same film grain kind of thing. It definitely had the same vibe. Not the not the music, but like the color scheme, the shading, the 
the film grain thing. It did not have the whole click targets thing. That is totally fine. Where am I going? Oh, right, I gotta go point right. Right. I feel like I'm missing two. I feel like I'm missing two. Can I jump that? Can I jump this? Huh? Nope. No, I can't. Okay, so much for that. So much for that. I think I need to go this way. Yeah, I do. Why is that zero out of eight, though? I feel like it shouldn't be zero out of eight, but like one out of eight, which means there's nine things. Unless you didn't like do a pro, unless you didn't like name it one out of zero, one out of eight or whatever. So it's like reading from, it's reading from programming counting, so zero is actually one, and one is actually two, and two is actually three, and so on. So there's actually no eighth one. It's just zero through seven. Also, fun fact, that's how uh, programming counts. is uh, It counts from zero onward. So zero is actually the first one, and uh, I, I feel like that should be number eight. But that's me. It would probably help, though, if it, instead of counting from 0 to 7 and just, like, numbering them all, it read from a variable. But then again, maybe they didn't know that, and this is an old game, so, like, I'm being a little harsh. That's totally fine. This was fun. I need to play Fragments of Euclid again. Or continue it, rather, but I forget where the hell I am. And I don't know where to go. I have no idea where to go. But I think that's the point of uh, non-Euclidean geometry. You're not supposed to know, you're supposed to figure it out yourself. And you gotta think in weird directions. It's fucking awesome. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you to Shro and Lovey Al for supporting me on Patreon. And thank you to these fine people for supporting me on Twitch. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!